Hi, it's Brandon Sway from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the half kneeling step up to med ball slam. So what we're going to do with this exercise is we're going to work on some front side mechanics in terms of slamming and throwing. So this works great for like our baseball players or anybody that's got to come up and throw. We're going to teach them how to come over that front leg. Um, and the reason it works well for pitchers is because as they come down a mound, they're going to end up in this position, right? So really works well for that population, but really anybody that just needs to come over that front side leg and any kind of way in terms of their how their sport or their goals are um, but pitching really comes to mind for me and this is who we use that for a lot so what you're going to do is with the med ball we're going to start with our half kneeling stance first so one leg forward one leg back we're at a 90 degree angle here toes dug in on the back leg should feel a little bit of glute here and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the ball, we're going to reach overhead. As we go to slam, our step up piece is right here. Okay, so we're going to pull back, pull off the ground. Then we're, as we slam, we're going to pull our body up over us. So as we slam, we want to try to get good and long. So this really works also great for our people that are really anteriorly oriented. It's going to help shift their center of gravity back a little bit as well. But as we come here, we're going to slam as hard as we can and step over. just like that. Obviously, we want to make sure we do both sides. However, an exercise like this, don't focus on the weight of the ball. Focus more on how hard you can throw the ball. Most athletes, especially high school and under, four-pound med balls should be plenty. Once you start getting some professional athletes, collegiate athletes, you might find they need a six-pound ball. We obviously want to make sure as well that we're doing both sides. So keep that in, you know, when you're counting your reps, keep that in mind. You don't want to put five on each side. And then you got 10 med ball slams, your athlete's starting to get tired. We got to remember this is a power exercise. So in general, I think about three to four reps per side really lends itself well. Make sure if your athlete is a pitcher or, you know, they are really trying to work on that front side mechanics, understand which leg they're coming down the mound with, um, whether they're pitching or whatever. That way you can make sure that you're going to give them maybe a couple more reps on the off side um, to try to even things out in the off season. And then on the in season, you might only do the strong stance leg another extra rep or two to make sure that you're getting a little more sport specific piece into your training program you can certainly justify it either way but as of right now from what we've found from implementing an exercise like this is we really try to keep everything relatively even and just focus on coaching the off or awkward side as most of the athletes will call it their awkward side coaching that up a little bit better and then as we progress towards season then we would try to focus on making sure they get over that lead leg a little better so if you have any questions please feel free to leave in the comment section thanks have a great day